Ahoy, ye land lovers and sea dogs alike. Gather around the fire, for tonight I have a tale that'll shiver your timbers and set your imagination sailing across the stars. It's a yarn about the most feared pirate to ever sail the seas, nay, the cosmos, none other than Blackbeard himself. But heed my words, this be no ordinary tale of gold doubloons and buried treasure. No, no, this here story goes far beyond the seven seas, to a place where the night sky is dotted with stars like jewels in a king's crown. A place where a pirate could loot not just ships, but entire worlds. Ye might ask, how could a pirate, known for terrorizing the seas of Earth, find himself among the stars? What could drive such a man to seek fortune in the endless void of space? Well, it all began on a night much like this one, with the waves lapping at the shores and the wind howling through the rigging. Blackbeard, with his jet black beard, braided tight and smoldering cannon fuses in his hat, was not satisfied with the riches of the earth. Nay, he wanted more, more than any man could imagine. And so he sought out a legend older than the seas themselves, the legend of the lost starship. Now, Blackbeard had heard many a tall tale in his day, but this one had a ring of truth to it whispered in hushed tones by those who claimed to have glimpsed wonders beyond the stars. They said this ship wasn't built by human hands, but by beings from beyond the stars, a vessel of unimaginable power that could travel not just across oceans, but through the very fabric of space itself. It was said to be hidden on an island that no map could find. An island that drifted between worlds like a ghostly galleon in the night. Blackbeard knew this was no ordinary treasure hunt. This was a quest, a challenge that called to his very soul. He gathered his crew, a scurvy lot of the fiercest cutthroats and rogues the world had ever seen, and set sail. But these men were no fools. They knew the risks and the whispers of doom that followed such a pursuit. Yet, the lure of the unknown was too strong, and Blackbeard, with a glint in his eye and promises of untold wealth, led them into the abyss. The voyage was treacherous, even by Blackbeard's standards. They braved storms that could tear a ship in two and fought sea monsters that would make the Kraken look like a minnow. The further they sailed, the stranger the seas became. Waves of black water that seemed to swallow light itself, and skies that churned with colors no man had ever seen. Time itself seemed to stretch and twist, with days lasting but hours, and nights that never seemed to end. But after weeks of searching, when the crew's spirits were as battered as the ship itself, they found it. The Phantom Isle, shrouded in mist, where the lost starship lay buried beneath the sands. It was a place out of time, where the air hummed with an energy that made the hairs on the back of their necks stand on end. With the light of a full moon glinting off the silver hull, Blackbeard's crew unearthed the starship. It was unlike anything they'd ever seen. A sleek, gleaming vessel with no sails or masts, yet powerful enough to carry them to the stars. The ship's design was both beautiful and terrifying, with smooth lines that defied the harshness of its surroundings, and an aura that hinted at the ancient, unknowable forces that had forged it. As they uncovered more of the ship, strange symbols glowed faintly along its hull, runes that none could decipher, but seemed to pulse with a life of their own. The crew, in their eyes wide with greed and awe, followed Blackbeard as he boarded the alien craft, a sense of foreboding creeping up their spines. As soon as Blackbeard grasped the controls, the ship came to life, responding to his touch as if it had been waiting for him. 
With a roar, like a thousand cannons, it shot into the sky, leaving the earth far below. The stars blurred into streaks of light as the ship hurtled through space. Planets and moons passed in the blink of an eye, and the crew found themselves plundering the riches of distant worlds. Golden cities on moons of crystal, floating markets where time itself was traded, and treasures that defied all imagination. But as they traveled deeper into the cosmos, the crew began to change. The power of the starship seeped into their bones, making them faster and stronger, but also more restless, more driven by an insatiable hunger for more. Blackbeard too felt this pull, a voice at the edge of his mind urging him onward to push further into the unknown. But there was a price to pay for such riches. The ship, you see, had a mind of its own, and it craved more than treasure. It hungered for adventure, for chaos, for the thrill of the hunt. It twisted and turned through the cosmos, pulling the crew deeper into the unknown. Soon, Blackbeard realized that he was no longer the captain, but the hunted, as the ship's ancient enemies, specters of the void, began to close in. These specters were not like any foe Blackbeard had ever faced. They were the remnants of a long dead race, destroyed by the very ship Blackbeard now commanded. They sought vengeance, their ghostly forms haunting the edges of the ship's path, their howls echoing through the corridors. The crew, once fearless, now spoke of seeing shadows in the corners of their eyes, of hearing whispers that promised doom. The final battle was won for the ages. The ship's cannons fired beams of light that cut through space like a hot knife through butter, but the specters were relentless. They swarmed the ship, their forms slipping through the walls, reaching for the souls of the crew. One by one, the crew was taken by the darkness, their screams fading into the void until only Blackbeard remained, his ship crippled and adrift in a sea of stars. But Blackbeard was not a man to go quietly. With a roar of defiance, he activated the ship's last reserve of power. The starship shuddered, its engines flaring one final time as it vanished into the cosmos, lost to time and space. Some say he became one with the ship, a ghostly figure piloting the lost starship across the universe, forever searching for a way back home. And so, my friends, if ye ever find yourselves gazing up at the night sky, and you see a streak of light passing faster than any ship could sail. Remember the tale of Blackbeard and his lost starship, for he's still out there, plundering the stars and living the life of a pirate in a way no one ever dreamed. But beware, for if you're too greedy, you might just find yourself aboard his ghostly crew, sailing through the endless night, Searching for a treasure that can never be found. And that, me hearties, is the tale of Blackbeard, the pirate of the stars. A legend that'll live on as long as there are those brave or foolish enough to chase it. So next time you look up at the stars, keep a weather eye open. For who knows what might be lurking in the vastness of space.